What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 3. This is episode number 3 of the Welterweight Career Mode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Without further ado though, let's get straight back into it. We have another tough opponent here that is an actual real life fighter. Absolutely insane. We are fighting so many good fighters early on in this career. This is literally our 7th fight and we are fighting beasts. But for this fighter, as we can see, um, he's pretty good everywhere. And George Baker... He's only really matching him on stamina, so we really need to make sure we up our game for this one. We could lose this fight. This fight could be a big, big upset. George Baker is obviously the biggest star in the UFC. Just look at that face. You know that man brings the pain. But I think we're actually going to leave the wrestling gym, and we're actually going to go to a boxing gym today. We're going to learn some new stand-up moves, hopefully get some new punches, and uh, just improve our power, our speed, our striking accuracy. That's what I want to do the most. Like Our wrestling is very, very good at the minute. And uh, our ground and pound is honestly, I think, only comparable to Khabib the Magomedov. Who, uh, he did win last night as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to increase our stats. We're going to get that accuracy up. We're going to get the strike stamina up. That is what I want to do as well. I think we might spar for this camp. I mean, it kind of does make sense getting fit. Uh, I do think as well we are going to go and learn some stuff as well. Okay, so we know our sparring works, bro. Let's go. So, strike vulnerability. What does that mean? Is he vulnerable to strikes? Is that what that means? I can't hope. Oh, this dude's small. Oh, okay, okay. George Baker, not the greatest striker in the octagon so far. He's kind of a just a little bit well-rounded everywhere. And uh, I kind of don't want that. I want him to be a killer everywhere. Not well-rounded. I can't even speak today. God damn. It's early in the morning, okay? Okay, good leg kick there. Oh, we ate it overhand, though. This is George Baker, though. F uh, son of the UFC legend, Mark Baker. So another reason I haven't really played much UFC. I haven't. I've been quite busy with other series like Far Cry and stuff like that. So I've been very, very busy, and uh, I haven't had the chance to um, kind of play UFC, kind of get better at it, and uh, knock off some of this rust. Oh, good uppercut there! This dude's moving his head a bit. We are catching him quite a bit with hooks. He's ducking kicks. He's coming back. This dude's pretty good. Oh yeah, fucking body strike there. Jeez. Okay, 90 fitness. He kind of stayed away from me. I don't know what that was all about, but okay, fair enough. George Baker's not looking as strong as Mark Baker, Leslie Chow, and even King Chow was this early in his career. We're going to return to the calendar, go back to the drawing board, assess some things, and uh, get back out there, and hopefully win another fight. We are 6-0. The last fight obviously going to decision, which is pretty bad. That is pretty bad for us. We usually stop people, and uh, the fact we're actually kind of getting... Not beat, but we're, we're struggling. Yeah, this early in the career is frightening. I don't know if George Baker will be a champion contender. I kind of hope so. I don't want him to be this journeyman fighter. But saying that every single career mode, we have been a champion at some stage. So, I mean, it would be kind of nice to get something. Okay, we've got a level 2 hook. Could do that body hook uh, and headhunter. I like headhunter, but I think we're going to go for level 2 hook. George Baker does throw a bunch of these hooks. So, it would be kind of nice to... um. To get some going, let's go. So we've got a man 15 strikes. There we go, touch him up. George Baker did get a new tattoo as well. That's it. Okay, uppercut, boom, 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 boom. You really touched him up this motherfucker's got a chin of steel. He just ate all that, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we've got the lead spinning back fist. We've got zero in level two as well, and the level two hook. The level two hook isn't great, but it is pretty good in terms of facts that we are going to do a little bit more damage with the hook and we do throw a lot of hooks on the inside as well so uh, yeah that's uh, that's all good 96 moderate fitness not too bad I want to get that submission defense up a bit as well our grappling is not very good I'm worried I'm worried about this uh, fight and I'm worried about George Baker's career we could probably lose a quite a few fights I think if we would been in there with like Tyron Woodley in the last fight we would have definitely lost the title fight that would have been terrible but uh Fingers crossed it wasn't Tyron Woodley. We did get a new tattoo as well. I'm going to start a huge back piece on George Baker. It's going to look awesome. But yeah, that's going to be the plan for that going forward. Maybe after every like two fights, I'll add something to it. I could say he has to like, pay for it or something. I guess that could be kind of how we're going to go around it. 95 striking. or not, I can't even read. 75 striking. That is very, very bad. 100 fitness now, though. That is pretty good. 82 submission defense. We've got 90 stamina as well. Which is pretty damn sweet. Anyway, this is the first fight of today's video. Smash that like button if you want to see more UFC on the channel. And uh, let's get in there and throw some bombs. Oh no, it isn't even fight week. Okay, we have some more training to do first. That is pretty good though. That means we're going to increase these stats quite a bit. Let's go. We don't want to overtrain. But we want to make sure 
we are in there and uh, prepared for this guy. This guy outmatches us in pretty much every way, shape, and form. So, uh, yeah, I kind of want to make sure we are ready. Okay, I think we just trained at the maximum. Let's get in there. Let's throw some bombs and let's get this man out of there. Fingers crossed we can get the finish after our disappointing fight last time. George Baker isn't going to mess around. He's not looking to knock people out cold. He's looking, he's looking to knock people down and like, dive all over him, jump all over him, elbow him in the face and end the fight in spectacular fashion. That's the plan going forward. Chuncho Charlton. Okay, that is a weird name. Uh, Jessica Aguilar. Big Beast is the real deal. Check him out tonight. Oh, yeah, Jessica. Let's go. Let's do this. Big Beast is definitely going to go in there and hopefully perform. There is a so there's such a huge roster of welterweight contenders in the UFC, and it's going to be a big action-packed series. I can imagine, especially with the likes of like Robbie Lawler, RDA. There's just so many good people. But this dude, let's get in there and throw bombs. Let's go. He's, I think this dude's a striker, so this is going to be a war. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Touching gloves is nice. Starting off with the kicks, following like his dad does. Keep them kicks going. Just have think twice about throwing. Every time he does, he's going to eat a fucking kick. Oh, good head kick there. George Baker looking like a predator. Boom. There we go. Landing a lot of punches. The dude ain't even blocking. Okay, two kicks land there. He landed one on the head. Oh, we did put on the hook, damn it. Hell to the no, bro. Oh, George Baker puts him down. George Baker on top. Elbows. Elbows. He's finished. He's done. Oh, he's lucky. He is lucky. George Baker trying to spring back up to his feet. George Baker gets back up. Almost finished that fight. Good kick. George Baker taking his time. Composure. Let's go. Good uppercut. Followed by a left hook. Eight head kick there. George Baker has been subtle to that. Throughout his career, but here we go. Another leg kick lands. This dude's throwing a lot of kicks. Got to watch my head. Oh, here we go. That's good, bitch. Get down, and he's out. George Baker with a first round finish, and that is exactly what he needed after his last fight. Absolute terrible performance, but that was a step in the right direction. And now after this fight, we are going to go ahead and fight our rival. I can't wait for that. Let's throw some damn bombs. As we can see, they absolutely dominated the fight. Uh, the dude was, uh, I don't think he was ready for us, but uh, there you go. There you go. That's pretty sweet. We've still got a little bit of longevity knocked off, but that is all good. I think that was just because of the last fight. It was an absolute battle. But, uh, yeah, moving forward, we have a, I think this is the rival fight. So that means we are going to fight the dude that we fought in the WFA, and uh, we absolutely destroyed him. I don't think it was the one we knocked out in 30 seconds, but that was an awesome knockout. That's what I don't understand about his career mode. Like, he just destroyed... The, his first fight was ended in 30 seconds, and now he's just... I don't know, I mean, that was a good performance, but I'm still kind of bummed out that we went to a decision. I kind of just wanted to sleep everybody, but I mean, that's fighting, I guess that is the UFC. And in real life, I mean, that is the case as well. Like, sometimes you finish them, sometimes they finish you. So, yeah. Anyway, going forward, this is going to be the rival fight against Jan Smith. Let's get in there. Let's throw some damn bombs, and let's end this man. We have already defeated him once. He is 5-6. and six. That is a terrible record. But I'm not going to complain. We're going to get in there. We're going to throw bombs. Hopefully finish him in the first round and make up for them last few... For, I can't speak. Them last few performances. So we do have some perks as well I'd like to put on. Let's go for this. What is this? Increased accuracy when performing consecutive strikes. That is good because we do like to throw quite a lot of combinations. I think what we'll do as well, we will add on the hooks and all the other stuff we got. I think we did get a spinning back fist, which isn't too bad, I suppose. But I don't think we're going to use it as much as, say, the hooks and stuff. Okay, there's, there's the hook. Where's the spinning back fist? Did we even get one? We did. Only a level one, though. That's pretty sucky. Did we get anything else? Oh, we did. An elbow. Nice. Okay. That'd be pretty sweet. We can drop some of them. Drop elbows on these motherfuckers. Let's go. So we have Jan Smiths in the next fight. I guess we're going to go to the boxing gym again. We're going to train up there. 7-0 oh now. Pretty decent record. Six knockouts. Seven, uh, seven wins. So that's not too bad, I suppose. We've only gone to the distance with one dude, and uh, I don't know if we dominated the fight, but we definitely did well. It's kind of, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's kind of like in my head, and it's kind of annoying, but uh, here we go. Rematch between George Baker and Jan Smith to take place in Montreal, uh, Canada. Okay, George Baker will get another chance to prove he's better than Jan Smith. UFC officials 
announced the rematch will take place at the ball centre. Smiths 5 and 6 said he's he has unfinished business with Baker, who is 7 and 0, oh, and assured fans that that he would throw down with his rival one more time. Dude, we are 7 and 0. Oh. We have beat some good people in this career mode so far. In episode number 2, we had probably the toughest fight I've ever had in the damn game. So I'm ready for whatever this motherfucker can throw at me. Let's go. Let's do this shit. Let's throw down, bro. Head movement, all that stuff. I think I'm not going to spar for this camp. I think we're just going to focus on upping the stats. And just probably preparing. Trying to increase our stats here. We we have got quite a bit. We have got quite a bit to do. Uh, we're not there yet. But uh, that's the thing about starting a new career mode. Obviously, you're used to like near enough a maxed out fighter. And then after that, you're it's, it's, it's terrible. It is so bad. Like You're used to like 100 everything. And then after, it's just uh, it's a, it's a bit shit. I'm not going to lie. So I don't know what we've got to do for this. I'll just hit A. Okay, just 20 strikes. That's easy. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Motherfucker. You throwing that bitch. There we go. We got him. We got him. There we go. I think we get some awesome stuff for that. Headhunter's a good one, I think. We've got a Superman punch. Now, we haven't actually used a Superman punch, so I guess that could be kind of cool. Imagine knocking someone out with a Superman punch. That'd be badass. I think we're going to go ahead and put that on. That'd be pretty sweet. If we rock him, he's stumbling around everywhere, and then we finish him with a damn Superman. That'd be sweet. 78 striking. That's not too bad, I suppose. And we are 85 moderate fitness. That's not great. Got to increase some of our health just because we have 64 toughness. George Baker is definitely tougher than that. Look at his face. He's been through some wars. Absolutely crazy, but I guess we could do a little bit more promotion. Uh, let's do a little bit more streaming, get that popularity up. 2,000 followers just for that. God damn, I wish YouTube is this easy. Jeez. Okay, let's just get the chin strength up. I want George Baker to be able to be hit with a chair and still keep coming forward. Grapple stamina is looking great. 92 stamina already. No one is getting near George Baker. This is some cringeworthy attempt to gain fans right here. Dude, you don't know what's coming for you. You're going to get absolutely bodied in there. Wait and see. George Baker's going to light you up like a fucking candle. Let's rock. I think we are ready for the fitness terms of things. I think we are there. Okay, right. So where's that damn perk? What is this? Roundhouse kicks. We don't really throw a lot of kicks. We're more of an inside fighter. But we can throw quite a few, I guess. We don't throw that many, but when I know, when I see an opening and when I want to throw in my wheel, like like in the last fight when we finished it by a spectacular knockout. Anyway, um, where's the Superman punch? Where is that? Level 3 body jab? Oh, yeah. That's pretty sweet. What is this? Superman. That's what I want. Let's have a look at it. Oh, yeah. Landing some of that. Okay, I don't think we have any kicks. Maybe I'll join a kickboxing gym later in his career. And try to get him some kicks going. That could be pretty sweet. This dude is 5 and 6. Sorry I made plans to do literally anything else beside watch your stream. Dude, you have a pug or a bulldog as a picture? Just be quiet. Jesus Christ. Okay, 100 grapple stamina. That is pretty good. We have got minus 2 chin strength. We're getting injured a lot more in this career mode. I don't know if that's because he absolutely trains like a beast. But I guess we're going to find out. We almost finished that last fight with a flurry of elbows as well. Which was pretty nice. George Baker... Uh, really, really savage on the ground as well. And that's what I wanted to do for this career mode. I wanted to mix it up. I just, I didn't want to do every single career mode the same. Like, maybe we will go to the decision a few more times in this career mode to make the fights more entertaining. And uh, maybe I could even throw some fights. I mean, I don't really want to do that because, obviously, that's not great. I mean, we're going to lose fights just because. But, I mean, it does make it more entertaining for you guys. If you think of the sense of, like, WWE and they have to entertain, like, obviously, it's all fake. And they throw fights because it's more entertaining. Maybe I could do something like that. Maybe we could lose like a big fight and then come back and things like that. I mean, if that's something you guys would like to see. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. Uh, but I know for entertainment sense, it isn't really entertaining watching me go out there and knock out every single person. I know it's, it's kind of cool. But um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. We still have a bunch more career modes to do as well, which is pretty Coming awesome. We have so many more to do, and uh, I love this game so much. So this is so much fun. So here we go. Jan Smith gets his shot at George Baker again. Now, can he defeat him? I don't think so. I think this dude, he hasn't got very really great stats either. But uh, George Baker definitely does. So let's go. Leg kick to start things off. You know how we do. 
attack the building here tonight. Ooh, okay. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Of I've got a lot of reach. Right Free punch. Oh, okay, go there. To put the emotions out of the equation. Oh, that was a good strike. Jeez. This could be it right here. Jules Baker chasing him around the fucking octagon. Let's go. Body kick there. Big shot with the left hand lands. Oh, he's down. Trying to dive all over him, but I can't. Damn it. Get down, bitch. Let's go. Is he out? He's out. Jules Baker really making up for that last episode with two spectacular knockouts. 15 minutes in. You know the drill. We're going for another fight. Caught him there with a good right hook. Dropped him and finished him on the floor. Jules Baker not even messing around. He's just climbing these rankings. He's saying, give me the toughest opponents. We're going to fuck them all up. But there we go. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet there. We beat our rival. We are going forward the in the career. Word in the world of mixed martial arts oh, no. Look at his face. Every fighter starts out with a clean slate and lofty dreams. But fight by fight, the talent pool shrinks. And only a select few will rise to the top in the UFC. That's true. You've done your part so far. Growing your fan following while earning the respect of your peers in the octagon. Stamping yourself as a fighter on the fast track to a championship. But even now, it's clear that this taste of success will either push you to greater heights or send you tumbling, making your winning streak a distant memory. Which path will you choose? <laughs> Look at that face. Jesus Christ. Okay, rising in the ranks, the rise to the top. We need to make sure we get this title. This title is something that George Baker has wanted ever since he was a little frog spawn. Let's go. <laughs> let's get in there and let's take this. Let oh, we. Okay, end the story. Baker ends Smith's rivalry with a spectacular knockout. Okay, the wait was long, but for George Baker, it was a sweet, sweet victory last night in Montreal, Canada, as he knocked out Jan Smith to put an end to a bit of rivalry, taking advantage of a great training camp and intensity built up by the back and forth banter with his opponent. Baker was focused from the start, as when the when he landed the finishing blow, there was an outpouring of emotion from Monster, who's <laughs> that's his nickname by the way, um, who secured the most satisfying win of his career. There we go, George Baker, the Monster. Let's uh, let's go, Dana White. Congrats, George Baker. You're looking like a legit prospect. We are indeed, Dana. Sign us up for a championship fight. I will kill Tyron Woodley in there. Let's go. Okay, prospect, eighteen thousand for a show, fifteen for a win as well. We need to break into the top fifteen. We're on a four fight contract as well. Who the fuck is Tom Brees? Next big thing, big beast, your yesterday's news already. I'll fight, heavy, blah, 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 blah. I'll fight whoever they put in front of me. Maybe you're next. Maybe you are, buddy. You don't want none of this, I'll tell you that. George Baker just knocks people out for fun. Absolute animal. Okay, so, who they're going to give us in this next fight? I'm going to do one more fight to make up for the last episode where we kind of played a little bit shit. We should have finished the dude, but there you go. That is really in my head. That is really... Really affected me going forward. We have, oh, Usman. Usman. Colby Covington? Yes. And Santiago uh, Ponzi. I don't know how to say that. I'm very, very sorry. We're going to take Colby Covington. He is a big mouth bitch, and I want to put him out. I want to knock him out cold. Who else? Usman is an awesome fight as well. We're going to go for Covington just so I can destroy him. Jesus, I hate Covington. He is such a loud mouth in the UFC. So, uh, yeah, George Baker gets his shot at trying to take this man out. If he beats us... I'm going to be kind of salty, I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, here we go. Five weeks training camp. Let's get in there. Colby Covington, you are going to eat some fucking lead coming in. I just hope we got enough to beat him, dude. If we lose to Colby Covington, I'm going to be so damn annoyed. But there we go. Okay, let's start things off. Can we learn anything off of the bat? Maybe like an overhand. Have we got an overhand? Nope. Overhand, that's what I want. Knock down your... Oh, that's the dude, Alan Julban. That's the one that really... Gave us a little bit of trouble. Let's go. He has got some good stuff there as well. Um, lead overhand. Overhand level 2. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's learn the overhand. Crack Colby Covington with it. Go home. Break into the top 15. And let's roll. So all we got to do is land a bunch of strikes. And I don't really block in uh, sequences like this. If we just keep the pressure. Oh, he rocked me there. But there you go. We got the overhand. That is all I wanted as well. Just the overhand. Just being able to crack someone with that 
And it does have a lot of range on it as well. You can really hit people further with it than a jab. You are quite vulnerable when you throw it. But if you do land it to the chin, it's going to knock someone's spark. So that's kind of what I want. Let's do a little bit of promoting. Uh, meet and greet at a local restaurant. We're going to do knockout round two, I believe. Colby Covington is not going to see this coming. He's going to get absolutely bodied in there. 88 accuracy now. Jules Baker starting to look like a real good uh, striker in this division. And there we go. 74 moderate fitness. I think I'm going to spar in this next week and then just work on building up some stats, promoting. You know how it is by now if you watched all the career modes and stuff. Motion capture. Oh, dude, I can't pass up on that. Oh, dude, I've got to do that. That's badass. Invite me to do mocap for a UFC game. How awesome is that? That is so cool. That is very awesome, my friends. Okay, so we're just going to work on defending submissions. I don't think Covington's going to try and take me down and do some submission shit. Maybe he will, um, because he's going to get lit up on his feet. We know that much. George Baker, if he comes out striking like he did in the last uh, few fights, this fight's going to go over very, very quickly. But we are going to spar. I don't know if it's a good idea to spar. But, um, yeah, we're going to find out in a minute. If we overtrain, we overtrain. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, no, not this son of a bitch again. I hate this. Oh, bro. Big shit. Oh, he's going to land an uppercut then. That would have hurt. Try the free punch. The jab straight uppercut. Not there, though. That one was. Oh, he tried taking me down. George Baker's got phenomenal takedown defense. Do you even know what you're doing, bro? A few kicks. Eat shit. Oh, bro. That would have knocked that wig off your head. Okay, I'm thinking about changing George Baker's hairstyle as well. Maybe that's something I'm going to do quite a lot of in this career mode. Just mix their looks up a little bit. Obviously with new tattoos and shit. It's going to be pretty cool. We tried to take down again. George Baker stuffed it. We are definitely going to be overtraining for this, I believe. I can do that too. Oh... Oh, this dude's good, you know. Oh, not that good. Eat shit, bro. Dicky Mag got us there. Okay, there we go. So we just got to peak fitness as well. Your up your upcoming opponent trucks. I can't read. Your upcoming opponent tucks their chin really well for the first minute of each round. Let's wait for the middle end of the round to make that KO move or a submission. Maybe we could get some submissions going. Um, I know that is something I did say I wanted to do in this career mode, so why the hell not? If uh if the chance comes to submit Colby. I will definitely take it. So uh, let's go. We still have a bunch of weeks to train. I guess we just keep doing shit like this. Let's go for some of this. I did want to fight Usman because he is a better fighter in my opinion. Uh, Colby Covington is someone I just want to just destroy. So there you go. There you go. Colby, like, he's a good fighter. He is a real good fighter. I just don't like the way he promotes himself and stuff. It's just a bit... I don't know. Anyway, let's go. This is awesome. Can I send you a match invite? I think that is probably for the UFC... Game. Yeah, yeah, dude. Let's uh, let's play. Imagine playing with George Baker online. That'd be that'd be insane. The first thing I would probably ask him is, why the fuck do you look like that? Why do you look like your father is a frog? That's what I'd probably ask him to start things off with. But uh, yeah, I don't know about you guys. So let me know in the comment section below what you would ask George Baker if you ever met him or found out that he was playing online with him. I'd probably ask him why your face looks like it's been smashed with a sledgehammer. To be honest. Okay, tuning in. You're going to play UFC and scout your next opponent. Colby Covington is our next opponent. Let's get in there, throw down with him, and uh, hopefully get the win. That is what we want the most. I want to make this fight hype. I, I can't, I can't speak today. It's so early in the morning, and uh, I'm not really woken up yet. But yeah, I want this to be a high fight hype, uh, just so a lot of people see me just thrash this man. Uh, I mean, ice bath. We have never done this before, so I don't actually know what it does. Oh, it knocked. Okay, that's really cool. It knocked down some fitness, so we can train again. And get some more stats increased. We have 99 accuracy. Our striking is really high now. God damn. Okay, so that is really cool. That knocks off some fitness. And obviously, you can spend more points to increase stats. That's really good. But we are here on fight week. Before we dive into the fight and hopefully knock this man out, I want to go ahead real quick. Put these perks on. I think we got a new perk. I'm not too sure. Okay, we did. We got heavy hands. We want heavy hands level 5. We throw a lot of hooks in this career mode. And probably every career mode. We like to throw bombs. And Hooks is probably one of the strongest punches you could throw. But, uh, yeah, let's check this stuff real quick. What have we got? Have we got the overhand? There we go. Let's put that bad boy on. Did we get anything else? I think we may have. No, we didn't. So, okay, so have we got any submissions? We've got empty for, like, everything. So maybe I'll go to a gym 
Okay, we've got the rear naked. Is that it? That is all we've got. Okay, so after this camp, I'm going to go and send George Baker over to a wrestling gym. We're going to learn some submissions, and hopefully they come in handy later on in the career. Anyway, Colby Covington, let's get in there. Let's throw bombs. In my opinion, Colby Covington is a bigger fight than this Matt Brees or whatever his damn name is. Tom Brees, I think it is. I don't even know who that guy is. So, And that's like not being even like trash talking or anything. I don't know who this dude is. Like, I know who Colby is. Okay, George Baker is the latest UFC crossover sensation. Okay, if social media reaction is to be believed, George Baker is not just a hot prospect in the welterweight division, but a legitimate MMA sensation. Need any more? If any more proof was needed, look at his upcoming fight. Blah, 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 blah. Upcoming belt against Colby Covington, making it clear he isn't just fighting for himself, but for a loyal fan base that will follow him wherever he goes. Coming up next, a UFC oh, this is going to be a tough one though. Covington is a beast. Why is he not ranked? I think he's like the top two contender in the welterweight division. I have no idea the rankings. I haven't really checked them. Maybe I will after this fight. I didn't even know he was a southpaw. That's kind of new. Let's go. Colby Covington touching gloves. Jeez. Let's go. Alright, I've got a new move, bro. We're about to see it. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's straight. He ducked that quite nice. Oh, he tried to catch that. Overhand misses. There we go. He's playing nicely. Trying to slip him there. Good head kick there by Covington. Okay. Overhand there, lands. He's catching them body kicks. I've got to stop doing that. Overhand lands. Every time we throw it, I mean, I'm not going to... Oh, he, he threw it overhand. Okay. Good hook there, Baker. Setting his pace here. Nice inside leg oh, we're doing well, we're doing well. Oh, we didn't see that. You see, he's to get good uppercut there, Baker. Counter, oh, good overhand there, Lance. Having some cookie going down here. He's got him hurt here. Baker with the pressure. Baker stuffs the takedown. He says, hell no, boy. Stay up on your damn feet. Give you that ass whipping you deserve, bro. Oh, the overhand again. Covington still on his feet, though. Credit to him, really. Overhand lands all day long. Oh, we stuffed that nice. He's trying to take us down. He is split as well. His eye is gone. Overhand again. Landed. Okay. They kicked him before he could throw the kick. Tried to slip the overhands. Tried to come back with a hook, but we are uh, a bit slow there. How about that shin? Good two punch combination. Tried the three, but it missed. Oh, oh okay, okay. Right okay. Keep an eye out on the stamina. Oh. This could be it right here. Okay, stuffing the takedowns all day long. This is a good fight. Huge uppercut misses. Slipping punches. He hurt him with that hook. Coming in with the hook. Overhand misses. Oh, that swelling on his eyes is really starting to get bad. Oh, oh good slip there. Good left hook. Overhand lands again. Covington is rocked. Kick, Leg kick there. George Baker's being patient with this. Oh, we've got an elbow as well. I forgot about that. Trying to take down. Baker's got some takedown defense. Okay. I'm going to hit him with the elbow. Okay, I've got to watch my stamina as well. We have got quite a good stamina, but... Oh, he hits there good with a kick to end the round. There we go. Jules Baker definitely won that round without a doubt. I think the overhands really helped us there, as you can see. Rocking the man. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I said round two. Round two knockout. So, let's see if this comes true. Touching gloves is a game opponent. I'm not going to lie. Boom, oh. He's not really... He's kind of shedding up. Leg kicks always land, bro. Oh. Oh, what's good, Colby? Oh, good hook there. Bro, he's got a chin. Though. Give him respect. He's got a chin. 
Good body jab there. Oh, hello. Okay, we got him this round, I think. Tried the head kick. He keeps trying for the takedown. I think we've blocked every single one. Oh, overhand lands. This could be it. Oh, there we go. Isn't it beautiful? Stuffing it. Good jab there. What are we southpaw? There we go. Cracking him. Oh, okay. I think we're dominating the fight, though. I think we've won both of these rounds so far. Every punch landing. He keeps going for the takedown. He got it in the end. It took him long enough. Oh, I don't know what he's like on the floor. Excellent movement and transitions here on the Is he ground. good on his feet? I don't even know. Is he good on the floor? Sorry. Okay, George Baker's quite tired. And just inches away oh. from those big right hands. Great exchange. Left right combo is good. He's blocking very well. It's hard to... Uh, oh, good head kick there. Got to be patient. Got to be patient. Okay. Let's go. He's hurt, bro. He's hurt. Good body kick. Jules Baker putting on a good performance here. Landing at will. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice trying to land the overhand. George Baker's yeah, trying to finish this fight. Oh. oh, he's out. He's out in a heap on the floor. George Baker gets the win. Second round knockout, just as he predicted. And there we go. There we go, finally. God damn. Good right hook. That was a close fight. It was it well, was it? I mean, it kind of wasn't. He stayed in there for a while, though. And I thought I would have finished him. A bit earlier in the second. We did rock him loads. He's got some really good blocking. George Baker finishes Colby Covington. Uh, thank God. Thank God for that. That was a good fight, though. That was a real good fight. Five five consecutive uh, knockouts and uh, six consecutive wins in the UFC. Pretty decent record, I would say so. And I think, is that 9-0? I think, I think that's 9-0, if I'm right. I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, that was pretty sweet. What I'm going to do is the usual thing of you guys are going to choose George Baker's next opponent. Let me know in the comment section below who you'd like to see him fight. And uh, yeah, Colby Covington wrapping up here with a great win. Um, George Baker absolutely destroyed him. But uh, yeah, that was pretty sweet. Okay, Megan Levy, Big Beast proved to be the real deal tonight. Can't wait to see what's next. Win, more, win move forward, repeat. I can't speak today. It's very early in the morning. That I'm trying to do these videos, but god damn, I'm just so tired. There we go. Okay, so what are we doing? We are 9-0. and 0. Let's have a look at the contract. Um, actually, no, I don't even want to see the contract. What am I talking about? I want to see who they're going to give us for our next opponent. And you guys can decide in the comment section below who you want to see me face off against. So who are they going to give us? Who are they going to say, you know what, George Baker? You are going to go in there and maul next. We have Darren Till, which is a very exciting striker. Probably one of my favorite welterweights at the minute. We have Cameron Ka Usman. I'm just going to call him Usman. I know he's an absolute beast as well. And uh, he is a beast as well. So three really tough fights for George Baker here. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see in the next episodes who we're going to fight first. But for today's video, guys, that is going to be it. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Smash that like button, comment, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you for more EA Sports UFC 3 next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have a great day. And I will see you all in the next video.